What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be picking my May TBR. I was originally going to have a game pick my TBR because I've been doing TBR games, but I actually ended up filming it and it didn't go as planned. So I'm just sticking to what I have here and what I've picked out for myself. And so I am going to be sharing the books I'll be reading for multiple readathons including Readorama, which is a readathon that I co-host. I will have the announcement video down below and all of the links to all of the readathons that I mention. May is special for a couple reasons. Number one, it's my birthday month and it is also Asian Pacific Heritage Month. Asian Readathon is going on, which is created by Read with Cindy. And so I'm going to make it a priority to read at least one Asian author. Um, I have a couple on my TBR. I'm probably either going to read Fake It Till You Make It by Jen Nugan or Frankly In Love by David Yoon. I might listen to that on audio. I started some of it in January, but I never got around to finishing it and it would work for Readerama. I'm participating in Mental health Athon. This is happening throughout the whole month of May and it was created by Nicole over at A Beautiful Chaos of Books. Like I said, the links will be down below. She has a bingo board, which I'll have on the screen. And last but not least is Readerama Round 14. Readerama is a readathon I've been co-hosting with Chloe from Burnett Bibliophile, April, Sarah, and Gwen. And this round, our theme is to read the rainbow. And the bonus challenges are to read seven books and to read a book with Rama in the title or author. There's a lot going on in May, so I'm gonna just get right into my TBR. It's right behind me. Readerama also has an Instagram. We're going to be doing Instagram challenges every day, and we have a giveaway going on, so definitely go over to my announcement video to know more information and to go and enter the giveaway. So make sure to go over to my video if you are interested in the giveaway to learn how to win a $20 gift card, $20 worth of books. Definitely go over there after this video. Let's get into the books. I guess I should start with Readerama. They're I'm basically kind of combining Mental Health Athon and Readerama um, because I feel like that's probably the week I'm going to be reading. For the color red, I'm using I Kissed Alice by Anna Birch. This book has all of my favorite tropes. First, it is a female-female romance. It is also an enemies to lovers. And last, it has an online romance like anonymous they don't know that they know each other online but like an alex approximately situation or an eliza and her monster situation so i am so excited to read this red is all throughout this cover it is on the title it is on the one girl's shoes and on the author's name so this definitely qualifies for the color red and it could also work for green blue uh, and I guess indigo a little bit, um, but I'm really gonna stick to red for this one. I was sent an art copy of this from the publisher for a review, so I initially was going to read this book for May anyway because the release date was May 26th, but now it is going to be July 28th because of quarantine, it got pushed. I am going to be vlogging the whole readathon, so definitely hit subscribe if you haven't and turn on my post notifications so that you don't miss a video and you'll be notified when my vlog goes up. The next color in the rainbow is orange, and for this, I am choosing Six Angry Girls by Adrienne Kistner. I love her. She's great. I loved her book, Dear Rachel Maddow. Adrienne Kistner is a fellow Pennsylvanian, and I love her for that, but I also really enjoy her books. They are politically charged, but she writes them very well. Her debut novel was Dear Rachel Maddow. This book is feminist-driven, and it is also politically charged. The dedication is to Senator Elizabeth Warren, so I imagine that this is also politically charged. Um, there's a lot of that this year, but this book could also go for any of the colors in the rainbow, but I am using orange because there is a girl's shirt that is orange and the one girl's cast is orange. So we got a lot of orange, but we also have a bunch of other colors. So this book could literally go for the whole rainbow. So if I don't read any of these books, hopefully I get around to this one. And I say that because I'm going to be taking summer classes from May to June to complete my undergrad and just get out of college. 
and probably gonna be graduating from Zoom University. Yeah, so I'm really excited to read this um, just because I really love Adrienne Kistner. I really enjoyed her first book. I'm also going to use this for yellow because one of the girl's hair is yellow and then we have some yellow on the cover where it's like the illustration. So like I said, a lot of the colors could go for this, but I also have like a specific book that has some yellow in it. So I'll talk about that when I get to it, but I'm also probably gonna use this for yellow. Next for the color green, I'm going to be reading The First Time She Drowned by Carrie Clutter. This book deals with a girl with depression and I've heard a lot of good things about it and I've just been wanting to read it because it's on my shelves. I'm also going to be reading this for Mental Healthathon because the main character deals with depression and it fits the challenge to read a book with a green cover. The host chose the challenge to read a book with a green cover because the color of the ribbon for mental health awareness is green and this is my book with a green cover green all around <laughs> the next book i'll be reading is to complete two challenges number one it has blue on the cover and it also has rama in the author's name and this is challenger deep by neil schusterman i'm also going to be reading this for mental health athon because it follows a boy who has schizophrenia and this is going to fit the challenge learn more about because i would like to learn more about schizophrenia i don't know too much about it um if any, I don't think I know like anything about it. I know I watched like a documentary in school once, but I'm sure that that probably didn't put it in the best light. So I'm interested to read this. Also because I've found out that Neil Schusterman wrote this about his son um, or maybe based on his son. I've heard great reviews about it. And so I'm very excited to read it. So the last two colors of the rainbow are indigo and violet, and these are the hardest colors to find. I don't even know what, what they are. When I look it up, it's like indigo is kind of a blue. But we also have violet, which is like a fuchsia, um, like a really bright purple. So I'm making my own color or I'm just gonna make something up. Um, and here are the books. First, I have Stay Gold by Tobley McSmith. I am so excited to read this. Um, this is also has like yellow. I mean, the balloons are like gold, but gold is still a yellow purple. So I'm gonna go with Indigo. So stoked for this. The publisher kindly sent it to me when I requested it and I'm just so excited. I love The Outsiders and this book is about Pony Boy who is a trans guy and he is at school and he gets in a relationship with a cheerleader and this is just everything I need. It comes out May 26th and I am so excited to read it. Like this is going to be the first book that I pick up. I'm so excited to read it. And it also kind of has blue on it. I mean, it could go for anything. I'm just very excited to read it. And the last book I have is One Year at Ellesmere by Faith Erin Hicks. This is another arc. It comes out in July. And this is about a girl who enrolls in a boarding school. And I love me a good boarding school book. I haven't read Faith Erin Hicks in a while. Um, Like her graphic novel. Oh wait, yes I did. I read Pumpkinhead's. I didn't really like it that much, but I am excited to read this. Um, and I'll let you know my thoughts in my vlog. That's the Readorama TBR. So oh, that is my TBR for Readorama and half of my TBR for Mental Healthathon. Make sure to follow us on Instagram and Twitter so you don't miss any sprints and you don't miss out on the Instagram challenges. Follow all of the hosts on Instagram and Twitter and on our channels so that you don't miss out. Um, definitely do it. And I'm excited. I already took all my pictures and I'm just so excited. Let me know if you guys have a Readorama TBR. Definitely link it down below. I would love to see what you're reading. I'm just excited to see all the rainbows. So here are the rest of the books I'm going to read for Mental Healthathon. The last book I'm going to be reading for Mental Healthathon completes the challenge to read a nonfiction. And for this, I'll be reading We All Fall Down by Nick Sheff. My brother had this book and I found it in his room. So shout out to him. Um, but he loves reading books about um, addiction. And so I found this in his room and he's really enjoyed it. So I'm going to read it. 
I actually haven't read his books before, but this is all about his addiction and his schizophrenia. Um, I actually have his YA schizo, so maybe if I really enjoy this, I'll read this, but I feel like I don't know. I feel like mental health books are really draining, so we'll see what happens. There's also the challenge to read a YA mental health book, but I think I'm just gonna mood read that. I have a couple on my TBR, I just don't know what I'm gonna pick up. Um, it's really draining to read them, honestly, so we'll see where I'm at um, with all of the readathons that are going on. But I am excited to read this. Let me know if you guys did. My brother really enjoyed it, and so I hope that I do as well. That's my TBR for May. Let me know what you guys are reading. If you have a TBR for Readorama or Mental Healthathon, let me know. Link it. Um, I would love to see them. Thank you all for watching. May is my birthday month. If you would like to send me something, you don't have to, obviously. The economy sucks right now, so you don't have to send me anything for my birthday, but if you would like to, I will have my Amazon wish list down below if you would like to. But honestly, the best birthday gift you could give me is donating to my Patreon. My whole channel is demonetized, so I have a Patreon if you guys would like to support me there. Uh, we have a good time over there. You'll be an official paperback pal. You'll get exclusive content that's already up there. We have my bookshelf tour. We have just a f just fun things. We have my reading childhood books part two. Um, and so we have a good time over there. I would appreciate it, but I understand we're in a really bad economic state right now. So I am totally fine if you don't want to. Um, yeah, that's it. I hope you're all having a great day. I hope you're staying safe and let me know what your TBR is down below. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.